Snapdragon Spaces in general excites us. And it really lets developers like us focus on the game and the game mechanics, and less about some of the complicated things that Snapdragon Spaces has solved for us. The great thing about the Snapdragon Spaces platform is that first of all, it works on many devices. But second of all, it's got all these tools built in for developers. Snapdragon Spaces makes it possible for that single developer software or source code to be deployed across multiple devices. Today we see this uh, with the Motorola Edge 30 and Lenovo Think Reality A3 glasses, but tomorrow there'll be many other manufacturers, handsets, and head-worn devices that the same developer's application can be delivered to. The thing that excites me about Snapdragon Spaces is the reference design of the glasses and also, you know, the API and the SDK is just like OpenXR, uh, AR Foundation, and it makes it very easy. I believe it's going to help small companies like us focus on their core competencies. That will create a really vibrant ecosystem of these companies, and I'm expecting to see, at least hopefully, a lot more innovation as well when companies can focus on the cool stuff, not on the tedious stuff. By combining cost-effective headsets with more powerful mobile devices and Snapdragon Spaces, we expect to see a, a significant acceleration in the rate of market adoption.